Okay, hello everybody and welcome to a new Jaltest webinar. I am Marcos and today I am very well surrounded by my colleagues uh, Jorge and Isidro. In the next uh, few minutes we are going to go through the most important innovations of the last software update of the present year, the version 20.3. Before going forward, uh, I just want to mention a couple of things. Uh, the first of them is that you can use the chat window and the questions window for your questions. Uh, we will try to answer them all on the progress. Or if you prefer, you can also send us uh, your questions uh, to an email uh, with, uh, I mean, uh, just go to customer support at jaltes.com and uh, feel free to ask anything and we will answer later on. Then also, uh, I want to let you know that we are recording this session and it will be uploaded into our YouTube channel in a few days so that you can always uh, check it out in future or uh, share it with uh, somebody else uh, who is interested. And third, uh, just a recommendation, uh, which is to follow us in our social media. We are present in LinkedIn, Facebook and YouTube. So we are very active over there and uh, you are more than invited to, to like us and to follow our content. We're preparing very, very interesting material like uh, technical documents, news, case studies, vlogs, and so on. So uh, just uh, check it out there. Okay, so this one uh, will be our agenda for today. Uh, in the first part, of the webinar, we will cover the most important software innovations. And then after uh, after that, we will divide it uh, in three different parts. And we will go module by module, highlighting the most interesting things added in each of them. So we will start by commercial, uh, commercial vehicles, then off-highway vehicles, and finally agricultural vehicles and equipment. As always, the way in which we're going to do it is not just listing the new features and developments of the update, but also explaining what they are for and which is, from the user perspective, the main added value that they have. Um, before starting with commercial vehicles, I just want to show you uh, this slide. Uh, these are the numbers of the update. In blue, you have the totals and in green and the amount of them that has been included in this update. As you can see, they are numbers that talk by themselves about the commitment that uh, we have in order to, to fulfill the needs of our users, something that is possible thanks to the three software updates per year that we have in Jaltes Diagnostics. We are constantly increasing our coverage, not just launching uh, new makes, models, and systems, but also improving the existing ones, as well as adding more and more bidirectional tests and actions for each of them. The same with the continued improvement uh, of the repair and technical information. As you can see that in the growing uh, of the database of uh, wiring diagrams, component uh, locations, component uh, pictures, maintenances, vehicle technical data, repair guides, and so on. We start uh, with uh, the software innovations, and it is important to mention here that all of them will be available in the different models in Jaltes, uh, commercial vehicles, off-highway, and agricultural vehicles. The first of them is something that probably uh, most of you uh, will appreciate, and it is the update process without the intervention of the user. Uh, this is based on the configuration of previous installations, and uh, this is going to allow, for example, that the small updates in between versions will be made automatically so that we don't have to worry about them. Another cool thing uh, is, that from, uh, is that from this version, if the track uh, that we're working on in the shop already exists in the URP, then a relationship is created. And thanks to this integration, whenever we save a diagnostic report or a ma maintenance report, the information loaded and stored automatically in the URP, uh, like 
it helps because it gets everything connected, like the vehicle, the information about the vehicle, the information about the customer, and the, of course the, the reports that the reports that I just mentioned. And this is great because uh, that vehicle can have associated a, a client, as I said before. Uh, therefore, all this information uh, about what we are doing in this track is loaded and stored automatically in the ERP, and we can check it out in, in future. Okay. We're always focused on improving the tool so that the repairs can be done in the most efficient way. Uh, in this line, it will be possible for the user to personalize the frequent test uh, for each system. For example, let's imagine that uh, there are some tests or actions that we perform in the workshop very often. So thanks to this uh, update, uh, we could save all these actions as a frequent test. This way, the next time that we connect to the, that specific vehicle or that specific system, we will find all these actions in the list of frequent tests. With this useful shortcut, we will be saving time since we won't have to look for the action in the menus. Some other improvements uh, in the software of this version are, for example, the addition of a new search filter that will allow us to search by family. Uh, we could already search by make and model in the past, in the previous versions, but from now on, we can also filter our search by family. Another cool innovation that improves the user experience is the possibility to edit the column size of the table. That means that we will be able to modify the width of the table columns in the course of an action so that we can see more easily the data shown in the screen. We keep developing our GRP model, and uh, one of the most important innovations is that it will be possible uh, from this version to export and import customer list through Excel or CSV files in a quick and easy way. This will allow us to share the customers created in Yaltes with others from other platforms or ERP of our company and vice versa. Also in the ERP module, we will have the possibility of defining a price per hour for each user in the ERP. This will allow uh, the user to create diagnostics and repair orders reports with more accurate data. If the user doesn't set uh, any price per hour, then the one that is going to be used is the one defined in the company data section of the configuration menu. So just go ahead and check it out in GRP from the, this version from the 20.3. This is a, a useful innovation, okay? So once we have discovered which are the main software improvements, it is now time to see the main innovations that the 20.3 version brings for commercial vehicles. Before starting, uh, just remember that you can always check our coverage in detail uh, in Jaltes report, uh, which can be downloaded from the customers area in jaltes.com or in the in the website in uh, kojaliusa.com or in jaltes.com. Uh, you just go to coverage section and you will find all our coverage uh, by vehicle category. So the first stop is going to be uh, the new brands and models, uh, the increase of the family of makes and models that are covered by Jaltest. Uh, so in this 20.3 version, we have added different models for Hino. We have the uh, L6 and L7 uh, from 2021 with the J08E engine and also the M4 and M5 for 2021 uh, and newers with a J05E engine, okay? Then in Mac, we will find the MD6 and MD7 2020 with a, a B6.7 engine. And finally, in Mitsubishi, it has been included the Cantor FE series with a PSI 6.0 gas engine. Before going through the different vehicle categories, uh, it must be mentioned that overall, we have increased the database of technical information and troubleshooting of the most common fault codes. Uh, and 
this is mainly thanks to the close communication that we have with our users through the customer support and the technical support and thanks to some functionalities in the software like uh, Jaltest feedback. So we want to say a big uh, thanks to all of the users because they play a key role in the improvement of the tool. In each update, we work to expand the references and uh, the system variants of all the systems, uh, increasing the coverage and ensuring the reliability of the interactions uh, with the vehicle systems. Another example of this commitment is that uh, in this version, the SAE uh, J1939 regulation has been expanded and updated with more than 4,300 new measurements and more than uh, 4,000 fault codes. So now let's begin with uh, heavy duty vehicles. And as usual, uh, we will basically go brand by brand in alphabetical order and explaining the most important new innovations for each of them, uh, talking about systems, functionalities, and so on. So starting with Bendix, and for the tire pressure monitoring system, we have enhanced the live data monitoring and included the system display, as you can see in the screen, as well as repair times for uh, the most common procedures. Then for Caterpillar, we have added the system display as well during different, different bidirectional tests, as for example, in DPF regenerations, after treatment uh, generation divide or ARD ignition test, the high pressure test, and so on. Then in Cummins, we have included a new engine, the X15 CM2450, which has just been released and assembled to comply with the GHG21 regulation. Probably we're talking about one of the most important uh, Cummins engines uh, on tracks. In addition to this, uh, we will find also some new functionalities for different engine models, as for example, the update of the AdBlue uh, DEF ECU for the Denox 2.2 in the ISB 6.7 CM2250 or the fan type configuration for the ISB 4.5 6.7 CM2350. Or also the regeneration and deletion of the inducement mode of the SCR catalytic converter for the QSB 4.5 or 6.7 CM2350. Then in DANA, and for the central tire inflation system, it has been extended the coverage of both protocols, 1708 and 1939, including system display and technical information, such as wiring diagrams, component replacement guides, and more than 50 troubleshooting guides. Then we jump into Mac and Volvo, and uh, for Mac, it's been added the new US 17, US 19 wiring diagram configuration for different systems, uh, body computer, instrument cluster, audio systems, etc. And then for both of them, for Mac and Volvo, in the M-Drive transmission, uh, we will find new bidirectional actions like the clutch synchronization test or the uh, highest starting gear configuration. And on the vehicle electronic control unit side, we will be able to set the fan control parameters from this version. In another addition, this time in Meritor Guapco, and for the smart track anti-lock brake system, is the manual diagnostics. If you have not done it yet, uh, we strongly recommend you to check the webinar that we had a few days a few days ago, in which we talk about the importance uh, of the manual diagnostics in the road assistance. So just go to our YouTube channel and look for road assistance and manual diagnostics, and you will find it over there. Um, we recommend you to to check it out. Then uh, time for Navistar International. In the GHD 17 vehicles, we have added wiring diagrams for all the systems, as well as uh, repair times for the more common procedures. Then for the M13 SCR 2015-2017 uh, engine control system, 
it has been included the reset of the crankshaft RPM sensor, which is an important maintenance that has to be performed after replacing the crankshaft or camshaft position sensors, for example. And then for the Navistar A26, we will find total data, trip data, and the reset. Finally, uh, some new things for the electrical system control and the body controller modules, as for example, the activations of the solenoid valve or the indicator lamp. And also, uh, we will find a switch test. Then on the packer side, uh, different tests and actuations for the exhaust gas after treatment systems three and four, like for example the after treatment fuel injector test or the DPF regeneration and locking. And then for the Packer multi-controlled injection, different procedures as the performance of the engine brake or the check of the shutdown sequence of the engine control unit. In PSI, we keep developing the coverage in the engines of this brand, and in this 20.3 version, uh, we will find new bidirectional actuations and tests uh, that have been included for this engine uh, for the uh, PSI 6.0, as for example, the fuel pump activation or the fuel adaptation value reset. Also, we'll have the camshaft stage duty cycle control. With PSI, we finished the heavy duty side, and uh, now it's time to move forward and, uh, and see what is new for light commercial vehicles. The improvement uh, or, or improvements of this version are mainly focused into uh, manufacturers, GMC Chevrolet and International. So for the first one, uh, GMC Chevrolet, we updated many system variants uh, and references. As you know, uh, like uh, every every system may have different uh, different variants, so we are uh, growing our database or variants in each of them. And then, when it comes to international, we are growing. We are going to find new travel suiting by full codes for the ECM L5D engine control module, as well as new system uh, within the the models of the CV series. Last but not least, we move to another vehicle category, trailers, where we continue increasing our coverage. And a special effort has also been made at the request of some of you to incorporate all the parameters in trailer units with RSS system. And also from this version, it will be possible to perform a manual maintenance procedure in the vector system of carrier manufacturer. With this, uh, we close the part of the webinar dedicated to the innovations of the version in both the software and commercial vehicles. Uh, before moving forward, uh, we're going to we're going to launch a quick question uh, for you guys. Uh, so we will appreciate your opinion. We just want to know what you think about uh, different aspects or elements that you will find in the software. So this is the question: What do you value the most? Uh, you can choose one, two, three, or four of them. Uh, just go ahead and please, uh, please check. This information is, uh, is uh, of a high value for us because it helps us to to detect which are uh, your main needs, uh, what you uh, value the most, so we can find improve, improvement areas. Okay, let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, just keep voting. Okay, let's see, 81% of, of you guys already voted. It's already one minute. Come on, let's go. Last votes. All right. Perfect. Thank you very much. I think we can close the uh, the poll. 80% voted. 
Perfect. Thank you very much. So um, we can see the results. So mo most of you, uh, most of you have uh, answered that the technical information is probably uh, technical information together with the troubleshooting. Uh, Eighty-one percent are the the main things uh, that you value uh, from the from gel test. Also, the advanced uh, functionalities with 40, 44, and finally the uh, extensive coverage. So, thank you very much for your answers, guys. And uh, from this point, we will talk about the innovations uh, for the highway and AGB vehicles and equipment, uh, which means that for all of you that were just interested in commercial vehicles, um, I would like to say a big thank you. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. And of course, you are more than invited to continue watching. But if in, in case you leave, just remember that you can send us your questions or comments at uh, customer support at jeltes.com or you can visit us in our website, uh, kojaliusa.com or uh, jaltest.com. And now I let the floor to my colleague Jorge, uh, who is going to tell us about uh, everything that is new, all the innovations of the of highway model. Jorge, please. Thank you, Marcos. Thank you for, for your presentation. And hello, everyone. So uh, now uh, we are going to see, as Marcos mentioned, the new innovations for the of highway project. Uh, as my colleague uh, has mentioned, these innovations are not all the new stuff uploaded in JAL Test of Highway, just some of the most relevant integrations in some makes. Okay? We will start with the new brands integrated in JAL Test 23, and after that, we will check uh, some of the most important makes in the industry. So, in the innovations that we have considered the most interesting for you. Uh, first, we will check construction equipment with new functions in systems so for Caterpillar, John Deere, Volvo. Bobcat, Hitachi, and JCB. Then we will continue with material handling equipment with JLG and Manitou. And, fin and finally, stationary engines checking the new systems and functions for Cummins, Deutsch, Dusan, Isuzu, Iveco, Kubota, Perkins, and Janmar. Okay, we will finish uh, this, uh, this section with some conclusions and a brief summary about our future updates in, in JAL Test of Highway. Uh, okay. So I'm sure you will you will find these these innovations very useful in your daily tasks. So let's start with the with the new brands. As you can see here in this new 23 JAL test of highway version, we are happy to announce that there will be new seven makes more. Okay, uh, as you can see, some of the most important Ditch Witch, Lee Boy, or Liu Gon, that is one of the greatest construction machine manufacturers. And now the these uh, seven makes are in in JAL test. So you will be able to work uh, on these makes at the best level, advanced and guided diagnostics in multi-system coverage. That includes, of course, dealer level bidirectional test and detailed technical information. These last innovations means that uh, there are more than 85 makes in JAL test of highway for construction machinery. In other words, JAL test of highway, uh, the old makes and all system solution provides the largest coverage in aftermarket advanced diagnostics. And we are working to keep this every year with the three updates that includes always uh, more and more makes, uh, more systems, and again, more functions in, in, the, in the existing, in the system uh, brands, okay? So uh, I would like to start uh, with Caterpillar, okay? Uh, because it's uh, one of the most important um, manufacturers in construction equipment. So for Caterpillar, we have uh, new functions and maintenance for C9.3 and C13 and C15 models, like regions for cleaning the amount of us in the DPF or system precision test in the SCR systems. We have also more technical information of components uh, more diagrams and maintenance data for caterpillar haulers and bulldozers. And last uh, but not least, uh, we have integrated a new central computer system, the MCM, for telescopic handlers, in which you will be able to perform sol solenoid valve on the overload limit calibrations, among other functions. Okay, I will show you this in the software, just to 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 see that uh, it's pretty easy and as always how gel test uh, works. Let me know if you can if you can see the the software now. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. So the first thing we have to go uh, to do is go into highway construction machinery. We search for Caterpillar, 
And once here, we can go to the telescopic handler uh, series, that is the TH series. And for example, selecting the this model. Here we have uh, all the different systems that uh, JAL test of highway cover. So as as I as I always say, we we cover much more than the engine. So for example, the new the new the new system I've loaded that is the MCM, the body computer. And once here, uh, well, hold on. Once here we connect. There are JAL test show us how to connect with the locations, the pin out, and the connector needed. Hold on. The, the link was not connected. Hold on. Okay, now. So here we are, um, and we go to calibrations. And here we have the new functions for this new system uploaded in this uh, new version. The value of this innovation is clear. You will be able to save money and time by doing yourself this type of calibrations after replacing the components of the attachment in this Caterpillar model. Okay, this action that, for example, is the overload limit, it will be asked for the expert mode because we are going to make change in the ECU of the of the Caterpillar. And here uh, you have an explanation of what the actions uh, about. Here we we will stabilize the the boom load limitation, avoiding system malfunctions. Okay, so we will uh, JAL test will register in the ECU the maximum and minimum positions by indicating you how to 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 how to perform the action okay so the second step uh, uh, as always are the initial conditions here we have uh, all the initial conditions that we have to follow and further indications once we have these uh, conditions we start positioning the machine in the maximum tilt position once we have uh, performed this action we continue with the initial position, okay. So after this, child test is uh, registering this in the ECU, and we will complete this uh, calibration. As you can see, in a few steps, we will we perform this. We perform this calibration, so it's uh, very easy, and as always, and the same in other brands and makes. And let's continue with the presentation, okay. So after Caterpillar, I would like to, to have a look in John, in John Deere because regarding John Deere, Chaltes of Highway 23 introduced new systems for motor graders, okay? Uh, we bring coverage uh, in the engine, but also in the central computer, the control planner, the instrumenter cluster, and the powertrain module with diagnostics, technical information, and bidirectional dealer level test, okay? As you can see in the screenshot of the PowerPoint, Child test of highway offers always an all, an all system coverage in John Deere models, and now also in motor graders and article haulers. Uh, in, uh, regarding these ones, uh, we have uh, introduced uh, a transmission uh, system, central computer, and telematic module only for the for the model 400D. Uh, regarding one of the typical John Deere machinery engine. Uh, manufacturer that is Janmar. We have developed in Jaltes of Highway the diagnostics coverage for one of the Janmar uh, engines that are in the mini excavator of John Deere. So we are bringing uh, the coverage also for the small uh, compact uh, machinery of John Deere. Uh, well, uh, for Volvo construction, we have a new actions and systems and technical information. For example, we have developed the transmission calibrations and system checks for wheel loaders and motor graders that have the vehicle electronic control unit that is the the, the old Volvo construction uh, machines, the VECU. And also uh, we have uh, created uh, the new model that is the V2 ECU for wheel loaders. Okay, so this means that uh, we are uh, always taking care of the previous models, but also uh, we have a look, an eye in the in the models and, in, and systems that the manufacturer is launching every year. Also, regarding technical information, we have integrated uh, wiring diagrams and repair guides in wheel loaders and excavators models. The, the models specifically are the, those that you can see in the, in the PowerPoint, okay? 
For the rest of the brands of uh, construction equipment, as I mentioned at the beginning, these are some of the of the new innovation, but not all of them. And for example, for compact equipment, uh, we have a new exhaust gas after treatment uh, system for Bocat, that is the DCU. That means that we we cover also the the after treatment systems for the for the small machineries. And also we have uh, new systems for Hitachi equipment, like the coverage in the gateway, the central computer, and the instrumental cluster in Hitachi wheel loaders. Also, we have a, a new function for JCB, that is the solenoid valve checks. And we have reorganized the brand, and now in the, you have uh, more than uh, 150 models in 24 families for the JCB, JCB uh, machines. That is pretty much the most important things that we have uh, included in this new version for, of child test of highway regarding construction equipment. So now uh, I would like to continue with the material handling equipment. Okay, here uh, I would like to highlight this uh, great innovation because it uh, means that uh, we cover all the hydraulic systems in JLG models. Okay, these uh, 23 child test of highway versions uh, brings the possibility of perform the uh, all the actions and all the diagnostics in every hydraulic systems for JLG. Okay, we we brings the coverage as the as the OEM and the, the official dealers of this brand. In order to see the value of of this action again, I, I would like to 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 connect again to to child test. And now we are gonna go to JLG. And we will have this new uh, hydraulic uh, coverage in all of this, but I'm going to select, for example, a 600 series, that is a telescope, a telescopic bomb lift. And here we have the new, the new system. Once again, we choose the, the connection. We have two available information about how to connect. And once here, we have Develop the the display as the manufacturer shows. Okay, this is the how is displayed in the official um, in the in the J JLG uh, tool. So we can select diagnostics in order to see the fault. As you can see now in the screen, we have the different faults in the system. Or we can uh, display measures, as you can see now and perform advanced uh, functions like uh, parameters or machine setup, okay? So once again, this is an example of, of the high quality of the diagnostics that the child test of highway brings in, in all the systems, and not just in the engine that, of course, we are the leaders in market. So let's continue with the most, uh, with other uh, brands for material handling equipment. Here in Manitou, um, we are very happy to announce that the new systems and functions for telescopic handlers that you have already in the in the in the PowerPoint brings a coverage in the instrument clusters and the central computer with advanced functions that the that like the maintenance resets and also the overload limit calibrations. These uh, two actions are very value because. Some of the official dealers of Money2 are not even able to perform these actions, so so we are we are very happy because now our customers of Chaltes of Highway can provide the service that uh, many times uh, service that many times go further than the dealers can do. Okay, so that's everything for uh, material handling equipment, and now uh, I would like to conclude these innovations with the new updates in stationary engines. Starting starting of course with one of the most uh, important makes in of highway uh, in, in the highway industry that is Cummins. JAL test of highway covers now the stage five Cummins engines, introducing in the software the models F3.8, B6.7, and X15. Uh, uh, also, there are new function, uh, functions and tests that uh, regarding uh, every model. We have, for example, for QSF models, the inducement mode the, the deletions in the SCR exhaust gas after treatment system. For the QSB 4.5 and 6.7, we have the solenoid valve check and a regeneration in the SCR catalyst. And among other actions like the VGT actuation check, uh, protection parameters, and some new maintenance, maintenance in the DPF for the QSL9 
uh, models, okay? Delta of Highway can cover now a stage five engines, and that means that you will be able to cover with Jaltas the new after treatment systems in Cummins. Uh, let's continue with more stationary engines makes. Uh, regarding more innovations in these Jaltas of Highway versions, we have four Deutsch coverage in the stage five models again, with the with the uh, innovation of the EMR5 EDC and D1. And once again, this uh, this development means that the, these new models that the manufacturers is uh, developing, we are working on it and introducing in the in the uh, diagnostic solution. So we are always uh, working with the last regulations and with the last uh, after treatment systems in this case. For Dusan, uh, we have an, a new after treatment system coverage in DL02 and DL03 models. And among other actions, you will be able to carry out a uh, the sulfuration process, okay? For Isuzu, uh, we have new systems and functions, uh, the ones you can see in the in the PowerPoint. And then for Iveco, we have uh, system checks and resets for the new EDC MD1 model. And this innovation will allow you to perform the ECU reset after replacing components like the crankcase, the pressure sensor, the intake throttle valve, or the AdBlue tank, okay? So this is very useful because now when we are replacing components, we are uh, we can perform also these uh, important resets in the ECU for Iveco uh, engines. Uh, for Kubota, we have uh, a new function that is the pressure relief valve resets in ECDIS engines. And uh, new actions for, for models in Perkins that like the DPF replacement for the models you have in the in the screen. Um, uh, new um, engines model for Janmar, okay? So um, last but not least, I would like to highlight that uh, Jaltes of Highway is always increasing the coverage of models and systems. A proof of that are the innovations mentioned. And once again, are not all the new coverage that we have uh, developed in this last version. And I would like to, to finish my presentation letting you know uh, what is getting ready for 2021, okay? We will have uh, more of highway makes in which I would like to highlight that our engineering team is working in some manufacturers of industrial forklift, okay? Also that uh, at the beginning of the next year, there will be more maintenance service in Volvo Construction, Caterpillar and JLG. And as always, uh, in every new version of Chaltes of Highway, there will be more functions and more coverage like dealer level bidirectional test, detailed technical data, more diagrams, more troubleshooting by fault, and also more information about the maintenance specified, uh, specified by make, uh, model, and system. We will keep our commitment of launching three versions per year, uh, always listening to our customers because these innovations are designed for you. And the main goal of Chaltest is fulfilling your daily needs with one diagnostic solution for all makes and all systems. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, now Isidro will continue with the new innovations for the agriculture equipment. Hello, good morning, everyone. I'm here today to talk about the AGD vehicles and equipment. First of all, I will start talking about the new makes and models then about the technical information that we have been adding. I will continue with diagnostics and systems, and then I will finish with the improvement in the engine control system and exhaust gas after treatment systems. So, all right, here we go. And you can see, um, one second. All right. Here you can see the new eight brands that we just added in the agricultural vehicles. Many of you were asking for Kuhn and Jammer, so here they are. And that makes a total of 64 makes in the AGV uh, gel test. So now we continue with the brands and models that we added. We have been adding many models, as you can see, in all the different makes. I just would like to emphasize the main models in the AGV industry in North America, 
So as you can see, we added in John Deere the W200 and 9000 series. In case we have been adding the axial flow, and then in the Puma series, we added the engine TR5 already. And in New Holland, uh, we added the, seven, the T7 series. And in Massive Fireflies, as you can see, the DC 3700 AL and IDL series. And of course, Kubota is growing a lot, and that's why we have been adding a lot of models like the DC ER L1 M8 MGE. Pro and WR series, and many other uh, models as you can see in the different makes. If I continue, I want to emphasize that we have been adding many technical information, but uh, the main one has been the wiring diagrams and technical information in case, class, Deutsch, Fendt, John Deere, New Holland, and so on. And we have been adding also technical and maintenance data of the vehicle in case IH, class, Fendt, New Holland, and Baltra. And something that is uh, very important for you, as we have seen in the survey, the travel shootings, we are adding many, and we have been started with John Deere, but now we also have it for another makes like class, Masodi, and we have even added more in the John Deere travel shooting guides. And we have been adding almost in every make uh, system displays. Now I will continue with the diagnostics and systems. In case IH, we have been adding the uh, UCM1 and UCM2 and 3 electronic control modules of Harbor system that is uh, very needed for our customers. And we have added the transmission TCM CVT, as you can see on the screen. So you will be able to modify parameters such as the sensitivity adjustment on transmission when turning on the ignition. In Challenger, we have added the MCM central computer from Caterpillar. The engine was already there. Then we added the REH hydraulic lift. So now you will be able to calibrate uh, the hydraulic lift in many different class, like in the Axiom series. In the Deutsch Farm, uh, it, as my colleague told us, uh, we have added the GLG uh, diagnostic tool. So you will be able to calibrate the hydraulic lift in the Deutsch Farm tractors that use this kind of systems. In fact, we added the EU EOL7 vehicle configuration system for all the tier three engines. We continue with John Deere, the main make in North America. And we have added the SEO remote hydraulic controller system. And then you will be able to modify parameters like uh, modify the spool valve identification code for uh, final tier four and tier five engines. Something that is quite demanded, so you will not need to call the dealer anymore with this action. In Kubota, we have uh, added many different models, as you can see, and new systems like the ARU, armrest control system, and the VDC, the TCU PST, and TCU KVT transmissions. So we will be able in the BCU one central computer to do the parking brake angle calibration, and then we will be able to modify different parameters in the VCU2 central computer. In Lantini, uh, we have also uh, made some improvements, uh, such as the hydraulic lift, and then you will be able to modify parameters, calibrate the lift, uh, many other actions, as you can see here on the screen. As my colleague told us, uh, we have been improving Manitou, and we are able to connect to the I instrument cluster, and then we will be able to do maintenance interval modific modification and maintenance resets. We are also able to con uh, connect now to the central computer and 
do the calibration of the overload limit. Then for Massey Ferguson, we have added the Autotronic 5 linkage hydraulic lift. So you will be able to cal calibrate the real lift and also calibrate the control on tensiometer. As you can see here, we have given you the information on how to do it in the technical information that we know that is very valuable for you. We continue with McCormick. Uh, we added the EHR system, is the instrument cluster and hydraulic lift. So we will be able to modify different parameters. And in the transmission TC system, we will be able to calibrate the PTO and the power shift clutch calibration is also available among others. In New Holland, as you can see, we have added the system display of the transmission that is very handy for you guys. And we have added the same systems uh, than case because they belong to the same group, the CNH. Then in Valtra, we are able to do the hydraulic lift, the real lift calibration, and the control potentiometer calibration now. I want to continue with the engine control system and exhaust after treatment system. As my colleague told us in the stationary engines, there have been a lot of improvements, but just for you to know what that means in our makes in AGV. So that means that we have uh, improvements in the models in Caterpillar C9.3, C13, and C15. In Deutsch, you can see here the different engines that we have been improving and the exhaust gases system. And the improvement for those and means that we will be able to have a better coverage in Kiori, Mahindra, Massey Ferguson, and so on. And then the improvements that we have been doing in Ibeco FPT means that our um, K KSIH, New Holland, and Steer, among others, makes are much better. In Kubota, as Kubota is used for different uh, makes, so the improvement in the engine and the after treatment system means that we have improvement in these uh, different makes. Uh, I want to emphasize Merlot because we are getting more and more calls about this um, specific make. Then in Perkins, uh, it will allow us to have a better coverage in Iseki, Landini, Linda, Ursus, and Biderman. And the last one, CISO and ACCO group, that is the kind of engine that they use, it will allow us also to have a better coverage in Challenger, Dodge Fire, Fend, JCB, and Laverda. All right, I just wanted to say uh, thank you very much. It has been a great pleasure for us that you have been attended today here. As you can see, we are working very hard, even in a pandemic time, to keep improving our software. And always, we will have the three updates. So you will be um, updated all the time. And of course, if you have any questions, you can uh, write them right now in the chat. We'll be able to answer one of us. And you can also send us an email to customer support at delta.com or you will be able to call us to 305-960-7651 or visit our website. And of course, don't forget to follow us on our social media. If you don't have any questions, uh, we will be ready to finish the webinar. Thank you very much for attending.